Live on sportsbookreview.com. Minnesota and Michigan State. Sparty, four and a half, 139 the total, four o'clock Pacific. How about the Gophers and Patino? What a difference a year makes. They were eight and 23 in Patino's third season. Barely had enough scholarship players to field the team down the stretch. They're 15 and two this year, three and one in conference play. And try, here's revenge for their only conference loss. They got beat at home, 75 74 in OT. They blew that game December 27th. Yeah, you remember that? I, that was OT where they lost that game. So they took Sparty to overtime. They're 15 and 2. 8 and 23 last year. They didn't have enough players to, to, to field the team. Stunning. Patino has certainly recruited well. You know, and now you have Nate Mason, you have Dupree McBriar, a couple of guys who've returned from being suspended last year. They're now team leaders. You have the sophomore, Jordan Murphy, man. He's one of the Big Ten's best power forwards. You have the freshman. Amir Coffey, he stepped right into a prime role. I like this Gophers team. And certainly, even though they blew the lead the first time around, you know, they were up, what, 39-26 of the half in that game. Sparty had a 15-0 run midway through the second half to claw back. But I like what the Gophers have done since that loss. They didn't say, oh, man, we blew this lead, we screwed up, or they put their heads down. No, they bounced back with a win at Purdue and Northwestern back-to-back. To To me, that's really impressive for Minnesota. Yeah, and Sparty's still trying to find their way. Six losses already, got beat by Penn State on Saturday by nine. And, you know, this is not a true Izzo team because there's so many young players, and you bet he overscheduled. He already apologized to the team for what they did in the non-conference. He's done a lot of apologizing. He apologized to the fans of the Palestra the other day uh, for the game. Uh, that they uh, played or uh, didn't, you know, what well, they showed up for. Uh, they didn't actually play. Uh, I, what am I saying? They played and showed up, but they didn't really show up. It was a bad effort. It was a soft night uh, for uh, Michigan State. And we tend to like Michigan State in these bounce-back spots, coming off a bad effort. Is those teams at home historically have been pretty good. But you talk about those leadership issues. Uh, and how young the team is. Look what Izzo's saying about junior Tum Tum Naren, trying to get him to become a leader. Quote, I told Tum he's one of the great leaders that I've had here, but yet he's such a good kid. You can be too good of a kid sometimes. I thought Tum needed to take a step to hold people accountable, but how we need to play to win. And when he did that, our team will be a better team because of that, if he can do that on a regular basis. There's enough respect for him that if he asked Miles Bridges today after practice how he felt about it, I think He'd give you the same answer. So they're trying to develop leadership, but a ton of freshmen in this rotation, Polly. Basically, uh, almost exclusively freshmen for Izzo right now. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Go to sbrodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks. 